Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Sunday night. Before we go to bed, I thought it'd be fun for us to do a video game review for the video game section of the YouTube channel. That game, my friends, is Cosmic Fantasy 2. Uh, right here, we're looking at the American version of this, which is what we have published by Working Designs, who made Lunar uh, famous in the United States. See, not a lot of people seem to know this game to the point that this game, I, I do not believe, is included on the Turbo Graphics Mini or PC Engine Mini, which is a huge, huge shame. Uh, don't you uh, agree, Alfie? Yes, I do, Noel. Yeah, see, it's, it's terrible. Alfie agrees, and if, and if Alfie says something, it's true. He's a robot. You know, if sci-fi has taught us anything, it's that robots are never wrong. Now, we are playing Cosmic Fantasy 2 on the Magic Engine emulator that I bought for my laptop. Uh, this lets us play Turbo Graphics or PC Engine CD games in our laptop, which is actually very, very cool. So we're actually going to start a new game here, and we'll just play through the opening of Cosmic Fantasy 2. And one of the things that Working Designs uh, was known for was um, the uh, type of translations that they would do, where they would take the so-called spirit of the Japanese material and uh, try to find a um, structural similarity with U.S. culture, swap the Japanese content while claiming to maintain its spirit, and then replacing it with American pop culture references. Uh, so you're going to see that a lot in the American version of Cosmic Fantasy 2. Right here we see Van and Laura. Van is the series uh, Cosmic Fantasy 2 uh, protagonist, and Laura is his love interest. She's actually quite similar to Eris in Final Fantasy 7 uh, in the sense that, um, I don't want to do any spoilers, but she may or may not have an unpleasant fate, and she is that kind of um, pure, um, kind of ethereal, sweet girl that is romantically involved with the main character that is ultimately going to be replaced by a more spunky, um, worldly, rough-and-tumble girl. Uh, in, in Final Fantasy VII, that uh, character's name is Tifa. In this game, that character's name is a Babette. Um, so, now, unfortunately, whenever you start an RPG and you're in an idyllic village, that usually means that some crap is about to go down. We're going to get some... We're going to get some fires, we're going to get some gnashing and wailing of teeth, uh, we're going to get some unpleasantness happening here. And, you know, as with any uh, great RPG, uh, again, beautiful chibi graphics, very charming. Um, we can go to the inn right here. Thanks, uh, catch some Zs. The cool thing about the inn is that you can save. So let's actually save our game here. And yeah, we've done it right there, there we go. Uh, Magic Engine uh, is a great alternative to people who uh, cannot find a uh, Turbo Graphics uh, CD or Turbo Duo or PC Engine CD. Uh, just download this program. I I would pay for it. That's what I did. I didn't get this illegally. I went to the Magic Engine website, paid thirty bucks, and uh, you got an awesome emulator that can play my Turbo Graphics uh, CD games um, like Cosmic Fantasy Two and Street Fighter One or Fighting Street, as it was known back in the day. Let's actually uh, take a walk out of our uh, idyllic village uh, that everything is absolutely going to stay fine in. Uh, and uh, we'll see what's going down over here. <laughs> Ooh, a tree. Ooh, a cutscene. This place sure brings back a lot of memories. Look, it's finished! Oh man, this will keep us together forever, right? I don't know. Working yeah. Designs takes oh, great pride in their village. dubbing and their translations. Um, I don't know. I prefer Japanese voice actors, but I got a lot of respect for Victor Ireland and his passion for uh, working designs and how they would really make fantastic uh, packaging uh, to their games. Um, really good stuff. And the village is on fire. Down there. It looks like smoke is coming from the village. I better get down there. 
Now, thankfully, this isn't our village, but uh, let's go see what's going down here. Because something's going down for real. This doesn't look good at all. His inn has been destroyed, so you now he has no way to make a living. Okay, so there is a wizard called Wizda. Let's go in here. Cool old guy. I was hearing things. The soldiers said Laura was the princess of Idea. That's uh, troubling. Laura being my girlfriend here. Gollum's army made a surprise attack on our peaceful village. Let's go in here. Ooh. It's the mayor. Are you hurt? What on Idea happened? Your village is in ruins. Uh, Gollum's army made a sneak attack on us. They seem to be after the princess. They said she has been living amongst us all along. However, the criminals Gollum calls soldiers lie all the time. Ooh, it's his daughter. A soldier said the princess wears a royal pendant. Uh-oh. Now, this in 2019, I love how these cutscenes really pull you into the game. Uh, they're beautiful to look at, they're dynamic, uh, lots of stuff going on, uh, just beautiful stuff that I find artistically inspiring and just the stuff that I love to look at. Uh, I'm going to get the hell out of here because uh, this is going to be a cue that uh, some crap is going to be going down in my hometown. Um, now I might be actually be getting attacked pretty soon, and yes, I am. Now, um, like Dragon Quest, uh, we have a first-person view of the people that we are fighting here. Um, again, beautiful, well-animated monsters, and again, turn-based combat. Um, I don't have any magic spells right now, so I'm just going to be in a slugfest with this guy. He can't do much damage. Um, I'm pretty weak, too, so we're just going to be trading blows here. Um, and we're just going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, this game does require some grinding, and early on is when you're going to want to do it. Um, so I remember when I first played this game, and I've only beaten this game once, and it's been years since since I've played this game, um, I did a lot of my leveling up right at the start of the game, and it actually served me pretty well. Um, so, we'll just see what happens here. I might actually want to get some uh, health restored here. This is why I stocked up on herbs. Nice soundtrack here. CD quality soundtrack for this game. Uh, what I was trying to say is, is that while I love this game now and find it captivating and beautiful, um, we get some experience points from that. That's good. Um, at the time, this really blew away the competition in terms of technological prowess. Um, it's okay, so some crap's going down here. Alright, let's throw down, man. So, what, did I get KO'd? Yeah, I got KO'd. So, um, but, uh, yeah, there we have it, guys. That is, uh, that's some Cosmic Fantasy 2. This is actually what the jewel case looks like, so, um, very, very cool stuff. Again, um, Turbo Graphics was noted for um, having kind of, I don't know, it's charming American artwork, but um, compared to the original Japanese character designs, I really wish they would have actually just stuck with the Japanese cover art. Either way, this game just gets better and better as you play it, and there are some shocking twists and turns that not only Final Fantasy VII seems to borrow from, but Chrono Trigger seems to borrow from as well, and so that means time travel is thrown into the mix, so definitely check this game out. It is Cosmic Fantasy II for the Turbo Graphics CD, and until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.